Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the best loots that you can be using right now in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. So let's just get right into the video. Alright, so the first loot I'm going to be going over is going to be the best loadout that you can realistically get. And this is going to be a blue AR, a purple tack, three big pots, and then floppers, and an RPG. And the reason why this is such a good loadout is because you have the long range, you have the amazing shotgun for close range, you have the three big pots so you can stay at 200 health all the time, you have floppers so you can camp in the storm and stuff, and you also have the RPG which is just such a good weapon for doing damage to structures and doing damage to players. Now, the second loadout is going to be called the Shoot Through Walls loadout. And this is going to consist of a rapid fire SMG, an AR attack, and then one heal, and then you also have stink bombs. And the main two things in this Lola are stink bombs and the rapid fire SMG. Because the rapid fire SMG can shoot through walls, and then you have the stink bombs to pressure the opponent to move, and then when they move, you can shoot them through their own walls with the rapid fire SMG. So that's why this is such a deadly loadout. Now, the third one is going to be the pistol loadout, and this is going to consist of a sniper, a shotgun, and then two heals, and then obviously a pistol. And since headshot damage from ARs got nerfed, pistols are really good, especially the purple and legendary ones, to the point where, like, honestly, I might take a, a purple pistol or a gold pistol over, like, a blue AR or something like that. Now... The fourth loadout I'm going to be talking about is going to be having an AR, an SMG, a harpoon, a shotgun, and then minis and a launch pad. And this is probably one of the best endgame loadouts that you can use because you have the AR, you have your SMG, and then you have your harpoon which pretty much can get you a mat refresh if you have like no materials. You can just harpoon some dead guy's loot and then get all of their mats and then you're pretty much chilling on the mat and you also have the launch pad for rotations which is just so good and so key to have a launch pad in those stacked end games so now the fifth loadout i'm going to be talking about is going to be the, the bare minimum loadout and this is going to consist of a green tack minis a med kit and then grenades and a green ar and the thing that's so good about this one is that you have the tack, and then you have your minis, and then the med kit is not the best heal in the game, but it still is pretty good. And then you have grenades, so you can uh, grenade stack someone or something like that. And then you also have your green AR, so I mean, there's that. And this is definitely not the best loadout in the game, but it's pretty much the bare minimum. You definitely want to have something around this. If you have much worse, then you definitely want to get to this point where you're at this loadout. And then the last loadout in this video is going to be the grenade loadout. And this is going to be a tack, two heals, an AR, and grenades. And just like in the last loadout, grenades are so key right now because you can grenade stack people to get a free kill. Or you can just throw grenades at a fight to possibly get a free kill or just pressure both opponents. And pretty much there's just so much you can do with grenades right now. So definitely take advantage of them while they're still in the game unless fortnite vaults them or something but yeah so anyway if this video helped you guys out at all then please do drop a like as well subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll be catch you guys in the next video peace out